not every company that came public this past spring was a total dud. In fact, there were a handful of real gems scattered among all those garbage deals. You just had to know where to look. Take Trinet, T-N-E-T, a human resources outsourcing company that brought itself public in late March, just as the IPO bubble was peaking. Trinet is a real company with real profits that provides real, much-needed services. The company helps small and medium-sized businesses get much better pricing for their employee benefit plans, including health insurance. More important, with the Affordable Care Act forcing every company that has more than 50 employees to offer their workers health insurance, Trinet fills a valuable niche, allowing entrepreneurs to focus on actually running their businesses rather than spending all their time dealing with the complex legal and regulatory issues that are part and parcel with owning your own company these days. So it's no surprise that Trinet roared right out of the gate on its first day of trading, or that the company has now put up not one, but two terrific quarters. Last Monday, Trinet reported a healthy earnings and revenue beat with a 44% sales growth. It also raised its full year forecast and revenue forecast. Just picture perfect. Hence why the stock jumped 9.5% the next day. Trinet's now giving you a 30% gain since we last spoke to the CEO back on May 13th. It's rallied 50% since I first recommended the stock the day it came public. In late March, th th that was back in late March. Today, the stock hit its 52-week high at $29.14, up another 3%. So let's check in with Burton Goldfield. He's the president and CEO of Trinet Group to learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Goldfield, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you so Good much. Good to see you, Bert. Have a seat. It's great now, to Bert, see you. I mentioned, I referenced the ACA, but it, in reality, something that you talked about <laughs> was that even, maybe even more complex, is the multi-state environment. Now, wait, but every state has its own set of rules now, and who would know how to follow them? Jim, absolutely. Every state has its own set of rules when it comes to wage and hour issues, how many hours constitute overtime. Each state is different. So the complexity of running a business continues unabated. Affordable Care Act is just a small part of that. Now, what would happen if I didn't use Trinet? I opened my business. Would I discover that different departments of labor would be after me? The feds would be after me? Because I'm trying to envision a world. Candidly, I think your company is very much a play on what a lot of people don't like in the country. There's too much regulation. Correct. And so you run afoul of a regulation. How many different places can you get in trouble? You can get in trouble all over the place. All over the place. So, uh, filing your taxes, doing payroll, uh, hiring people properly, uh, compensating people properly, and ultimately giving them access to health care. So, it's an important part of the complexity, but more importantly is you have to hire great people. And when you have great benefits, you have a seamless onboarding process, right. people want to come join your company. Now, one of the things that I think I want people to understand is the metric that people are judging you by is something called worksite employees metric, right. WSE. Can you explain that to people? Because I always say they're key metrics, whether it be airlines, whether it be hotels. Right. This seems like a good way to identify how well your business is doing. Absolutely, because our fees are on a per employee per month basis. So okay. it's recurring revenue. I start the year with 85% of my revenue done. A wonderful way to start. Wow. Really? And each of the companies that we service have a certain number of employees. When we talk about worksite employees, we're talking about the members of each of the companies that we service. So we service over 9,000 companies, okay. and we have over 258,000 employees that we're cutting payroll for, providing benefits okay. for, and ultimately giving them a great work environment. As I went through your conference call, it came clear to me that those who think that 2015 may necessarily be a robust year for hiring haven't read what you have to say. The thicket of what it takes to start a business now versus when I started my first business in the 80s, I don't know. It's pretty daunting. <laughs> it is daunting. But the good news is the people who are starting businesses today don't remember what it was like then. They right. never ran a business then. Right. So we have a right, lot of... Right, they accept that this is the world. It. Right. And they're running great companies. I have small companies that are changing the world. Mm -hmm. I have a company, Permanova, down in Southern California, uh, building products to, to take care of congestive heart failure. I have great restaurants over Well, that, I, that was the last one I want to talk about. Yeah. Restaurants. Uh, these are probably known restaurants that are putting s stores up in all different states. Exactly. And they just probably presumed that each state was the same when they got into it. it. Well, one of my favorite clients is El Polo Loco. You know, Apoyo, they, Apoyo Loco. They're one of our we clients. We love that. See Holy that? cow. They went up 100% right. in IPO. 
And they're in different states. And, different and states. you know, in Buffalo Wild Wings, when we had Sally Smith on, right. she was saying, listen, I'm in Minnesota, I'm in California. The totally different regime for, for exactly. uh, minimum wages. Exactly. So, so the, you're tracking the hours they work, mm -hmm. you're tracking part and full time employment. And you're ult ultimately tracking whether they qualify for health care. Right. So that's where ACA comes from. Okay, here's what I'm telling the people. If you think that there's too much regulation in this country and you want revenge, just go buy Burton Goldfield's company. He's the president and CEO of Trinet. To me, it is the only way to get revenge on all the regulation we have in this country. Mad Money's back after the break.